Hey everybody, JD Man here. Uh, today we're at the Stoystown Lions Antique Tractor Festival. Um, I actually started this here 22 years ago. 2001 was the first show. Uh, kind of gave it up in 2010, got burned out. But uh, this was what I was working towards, this uh, sawmill. We got her built and uh, show you what you got here. It's an old Farker, Fark Far, however you want to say it. This young guy here standing, he was like four years old on our first show. And uh, he kept with it. This is how it used to be done. It's nice they can go and cut their own boards. Do uh, projects like this. Uh, in 2010, we did not have the building up yet. All we had was the mill. Good job. See, it's nice. Uh, we actually had some steam engines here we were running the mill with, but uh, you can do it just with an Alice or anything. I had my uh, John Deere 830 hooked to the mill. Uh, the old John Deere D that uh, I did a video on mine. We had it on the mill. Those D's powered a lot of mills back in the day. Had that big 500 cubic inch engine. The piece that uh, the blades model to is a uh, just called a husk. This track here, that's they call that the ways, and then the carriage is what they put the logs on. And it's nice, you know, we get. Uh, a lot of times lumber mills and other places they'll donate the logs for us to use yeah that's except for the post there this building you know of course the trusses but uh, all the siding and that was from lumber that uh, was cut here with this mill and uh, that's your uh, sawdust drag that drags the uh, dust from underneath the husk there whenever the blade's cutting. They had to uh, make a new one there for this year because the old one was wore out. But uh, tell you what, that's uh, those guys there, that fellow I was just talking to, he was uh, at Seth, he was a young teenager whenever he started. They were they were into Cub Cadet Garden Time. There's an old cutoff saw. Have one of these at the house. We used to use that down here. Seth, what size blades on that? Is it the same one that's been on there? Yeah, a 50 or 52. No, I know we have another blade in there, but I think it's a little smaller. Okay. The old Alice is barking. Oh. <laughs> Who's is that? Jerry's? Um, RJ's. RJ's, okay. Yeah, we've, we've used that one, we've used that 350 there, which is Matt's. Or RM will run a decent, all about 
not the same, but we haven't, we haven't the radiator cracked in and we can't find one to put in. Oh, the aftermarket ones is it. No water using for junk. It's like... Too bad on these. Pretty careful on it. That's good. I just parked behind the. Everyone else does. Yeah. <laughs> The old house is doing good. They like said the fella that owns that tractor, he, he was like three or four years old whenever he first started coming down here. His dad brought him and his brother. So we had to rebuild all that. thickness it's preset so all you gotta do is pull that lever and you got your uh, thickness This is what built this country, this type of equipment right here, and manpower. You have to respect that. Those are called dogs that they just sunk into the wood to hold it tight. Sit, hey. big's the blade? 52. 52, that's what I thought. Okay. 
Hey, the old Alice is running good. Deadweight pool, western style pools. Um, move that up here. It just makes it nice to, you know, if we have overflow from down below along the creek bed there, uh, there's still a little creek, but uh, yeah, the river used to be pretty darn big that, that flowed through here. Um, but yeah, I got all this timbered out, and the, the money from that helped us to. Uh, you know, do other things. This building actually was mine. I ordered it and um, sat along around for too long. I didn't do anything with it. And a uh, fellow bought it off me and donated it to the club here. So they store equipment in here. Um, threshing machines and such. They do demonstrations with that. Uh, seed drill planter old threshing machine a guy that uh, used to come here Dick Jones was his name I'll tell you one of the nicest guys you'd ever meet I miss that guy here they would uh, threshing machine this is where you put your wheat notes whatever's in there and it separate it and 
you know, they, they're, one guy might own one of them and go around the different farms and do that all by hand as before you had combines. That's great. This must be the one they use. Like I said, they, this is a working show. And uh, if you can get, I don't know, they probably didn't have any uh, stuff to run through. It was just not, just to run uh, straw through or whatever, just to see the process on McCormick Deering. Yeah, there's some of the tractors. There. These, these guys up here are mostly pullers. did all this I got burned out like I said I did it for 10 years and uh, I just I needed a break I needed a break and it, it kind of worked out so I, uh, so I had my transmission shop and I had to I gave that up due to health reasons I had to get a desk job and uh, so now that that's what's called a hit and miss engine right there a little international Had uh, Phil brought in down here, kept some of these low lying areas, wetlands. We don't want to mess with that. We got the cattails over there. Um, we even have garden tractor pools here. Uh, this uh, over here, we're going to our original track. You know, a lot, mostly all I had a lot of good, good friends that uh, really helped us out donating stuff to make this happen. Oh, nice Oliver. In case, uh, that's a case SC. I used to have one of them. Ah, the square dancers are here. They use tractors for square dancing. There's Gordon Tractor Buddies. Yeah, this was the original track. We did all our dead weight pools and garden tractor pools and even western style pools here. Yeah, everything got donated. All of our lighting got donated. I put all that. Yeah. All those lights there. I, I, I put them up. Got the telephone poles put in. There's more lights up there. This is an old train station. But, uh, it's an exact replica. They were gonna try and move the old one here, but it didn't work out. Old B and O train station, an exact a replica of what was here in the town called Cantler, PA. The historical society has that. We let them put that down here. Pretty cool. I think this is the Oliver I saw the other night. Yeah. This is up by my house. That's nice. Nice job. I used to have an Oliver 70 road crop. Sold it to a buddy of mine. Yeah, did a nice job on that. Yeah, I can't, yeah. So, still in the family. That uh, family there used to sell them. I think that's where my uh, cleat track come from. That I have. Nice. There's 
another case. It's a Model SC. I'd like to talk to that guy. Find out if his family did sell. That's, I think that's where that come from. There's a 77 road crop, pretty much the same, just a little bit more, more features to it than the 70 had. Yep, all them lights up there. <laughs> I was up on a bunker truck, put night before the show, putting them up. There's some new ones. I didn't do them, but that's yeah. They need them. many more lights, better. Nice to see. Not as much a turnout this year because of all the rain we had. Yeah, we've had over 300 tractors here. There's food. Lots of good food. There's some green. Hey guy. Case. Oh, Ford Power Master. That is the feature tractor this year. This is Sunday, a lot of guys are hauling out too. There's a nice mass with that. There's a case. Mini Moline. Nice job on that. Mini Mo. Another 77. i tell you, those minis are good pulling tractors. You can see these tractor shows are family events. This is what America's about right here. Definitely. It's uh, four days. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And um, there are tractor shows all over this country. And you need to go visit one, check, you know, look for them. Let's get online. I used to have a Model 40. It was real similar to that 420. That's a vertical two-cylinder. Same as the L there, the vertical. They have their own sound. That 330, that's nice. You don't see many of them. Yep, I'm partial to the green. Can't help it. But I like them all. So we'll take a break and be back. Okay, we're back. Fellow on that Massey there, he was just a little kid. Probably about three, two or three, whenever uh, this started. Remember him in the pedal pulls.
Yeah, it's Sunday afternoon, pretty much. People are heading out. There's one room schoolhouse that was moved here. And this is a Stoystown Lions Park. Stoystown, PA. Have some vendors here. This is going to be on my YouTube channel. That is a Moss Dollar Schoolhouse. Kind of storage now for the Lions Club. Small vendor area. And this is the uh, covered bridge. Whenever I was here, this is one of the big, we had this uh, redone. And that was a big project. This bridge, this was here. It's the Trosseltown Bridge. Those are two years, 1965, 1993, that it was restored. In that yeah 96 we had a second rush you know we did more work on it had to get some other beams replaced and uh, Here's where we used to have our barbecue pit. Um, then whenever we built the uh, portable one, kind of didn't have to use this one anymore. So, got disassembled. Little crick here. Yep, Stoystown Lions Park. A lot of work in, went into this place down here. It's a nice little area. Great place to have the show. And uh, I'm just glad to see that, uh, like I said, I started this in 2001. And it's got passed on to a good group of kids. And uh, we're doing a good job with it. down here with the American Legion too.
So uh, I'm going to end this here. Hope you enjoyed it. The name's Scott. The channel's JD, man. And uh, y'all stay safe out there. Talk to you later again. Peace.